you uh, brought up the uh, you know the mention as far as you know the white the white hot center because that uh you know that that was referenced uh, in in the in the questions um so could you maybe kind of like walk us through that as far as like uh you know that that kind of concept and what you're referring to the basic idea of the white hot center is that you can have transactions but if you really look closely at your data what you'll notice is that there's a particular group of people who are accounting for most of the activity, most of the retention, the highest AOVs, some sort of beneficial metrics associated with those particular nodes in your network. And you need to identify them and then target them. So for instance, we had a company that was doing something like FAIR, F-A-I-R-E, where they were looking at sort of B2B sales of, of uh, craft equipment, uh, craft goods. And it wasn't going very well. They'd been at it for two years. They came to me. We put in a few hundred thousand dollars and started working with them on the whiteboards and figuring stuff out and looking at data. And we didn't necessarily see a path with that team to creating another type of affair. We said, but who are the people? We, we finally got them to look at the data and find their white hot center. When they did, they found out that these were interior designers who were using it to buy certain things. So we said, why don't you just reconfigure the business to just focus for on interior designers. And they eventually created a company called Ivy Mark uh, and then focused on them and they got acquired by by House um, for lots of reasons. They they could have been a four or five hundred million dollar exit um, had they played it differently. But uh, that was the White Hot Center within their overall transaction volume. And once they focused on it and re recommitted to that group exclusively, then things really started to pick up. Uh, and, and that's what I kind of need.